Welcome to a quick guide on graphics settings and Sea of Thieves. I don't want to mess around too much, so I'm just going to go through them very quickly. Before we go to video settings, we're going to go through graphics settings first, and then we'll come back around to video settings. I'm only going to touch these two though. In graphics settings, obviously you want your FOV at 90, but these are the main settings that I want to talk about here. So by default, no matter what you put this to, these all stay on cursed, and that's the right call. These should always be on cursed. Um, unless you have an absolutely beefy PC or you're just crazy, you don't really need these turned up at all. If you want your game to look good, but you also want performance, put everything on rare. Easy. If you run at a high resolution and you can tell when your textures look a little bit low quality, I would bump this up to mythical. I personally do. This is my setup here right now. Where we've got common, rare, mythical, rare, cursed all the way down. Now that being said, shadow detail on common is a weird one, right? The reason I have Shadow Detail on Common is because on Cursed, you get a bit of flickering. I'll see if I can find an example. Yes, I get better performance, and yes, there's fewer shadows and better visibility. Well, here's a good example. But look at that shadow. This is flickering in and out, and that really frustrates me. So I'd rather have it on Common, where I still get decent performance, but it's a little less flickery. There's a little bit more of a shape to the shadow as well. I can tell that that's a palm tree shadow, probably from one of these two palm trees suspect it's that one. Now if you turn your shadow detail up, there's a whole nother level at rare. Everything just becomes a bit darker and it's worse for visibility but it does make the game look a lot nicer. Um, and then even more so, if you have a good PC, bump this up to mythical and you get these sharp shadows with clear defined edges and you can really tell even one step down they're a little bit blur on the edge but in mythical they're sharp edges. I recommend keeping this relatively low. It's really strong on um, CPU specifically. And I have a really good GPU, but my CPU is bad, and SOT uses a lot of CPU. Now, model detail, I've always heard you should have this at the lowest at rare. I've never questioned it, but at rare, I've, I've always found that I see people at the same distance that other people see them. Um, some people think that you need this on mythical for view distance reasons. All this changes is the popping. So if I get close to something, I'll, I'll start over here. I'll turn it all the way down to, to rare even. And when I walk towards shapes and models, they should get higher resolution as I get closer to them. It's harder to tell, but you can see on this rock, we'll look at it one more time. You can also tell when I spyglass it, it's different. But look at it, there it is. One more time, it'll probably get bigger. Yep, it changed again. So the distance that that happens at will change when your model detail changes. But I would recommend putting this at rare and not really thinking about it. Now texture detail I already covered quickly before. If you put this on cursed, you'll run faster, but everything sort of looks a little bit worse. Like low quality, just like plain and flat. Some people actually like this aesthetic, like it just makes the game look simple. Um, I personally dislike it just because of how it makes some icons look pixelated. Like if I look at this, I can see the pixels on this sword. Um, and even worse so, if I open a barrel, this is really pixelated for me. And even worse, if I open my pirate log and I look at reputation, these images become low quality. And that's super frustrating for me. Like, I have a 4K monitor and I want these to look good. So I'd recommend if you're on 1080p, rare is probably fine here. But if you're on 4K, you probably want to bump this up to mythical. 1440p, probably legendary will be fine. I leave it at mythical because I have a decent GPU. Uh, water detail at rare. So this is a controversial one. But because I stream and record videos, I'd like my water to look at least nice. Um, I find that cursed water looks a lot uglier and I don't think a lot of people like it. Um, this is what my rare water looks like. But when you change to cursed, it removes the white tips on the top of the waves. Now it makes it a lot easier to see through it. Um, not a huge competitive advantage, but a lot of people swear by it. You can't see people any deeper, but when they're on the surface, there's no like little white bits on the water. To some extent, it can look nicer when you put it, but in the sort of darker gray areas of the map that way, it looks a lot worse, I would say. Um, between rare and mythical is really just the distance that the water looks nice from, like the, the distance that you can see the nice waves from. Um, so I've always kept this at rare just for performance reasons, um, and I've never had any problem, because between rare and mythical, for most settings, the game still looks pretty good. Um, I, would, I would recommend putting this on rare, I'm not sure where the step up is from common to, from curse to common. Like to me, this looks relatively similar. Um, so I would recommend you should either put this on cursed or rare. Um, or obviously BPPC, mythical, whatever. 
Now, lighting detail is a funny one. So, lighting detail, I used to run at rare all the time. And this just kind of makes things glow. Like, you can see these lanterns sort of have a glow to them where it's outside of the lantern, um, it comes out. It's a lot easier in the dark, so we'll come down here. Um, but it also makes below deck a little bit darker. Um, so it's a little bit harder to see, but it's not that bad. It's worse at night. I've got this down to curse. You can see that this is like a flat color. Now, it's still just as bright. It's just not glowy. It's just a linear, uh, flat brightness effect and once again i'll bump it back up and you can tell that it's a lot more glowy now i find that my game runs better with this on cursed and i can see way better with that on cursed um, but that being said it does make the game look a little bit worse but for me i don't mind the flat uh, fewer shadows less lighting um effect i don't mind it we'll go in the tavern and look at it you see how it immediately is darker cursed rare and even in the step between common it's still the same darkness so i prefer curves just for that visibility so it's uh, not as dark but if you are going to run really nice shadows if i'm going to turn my shadows up to mythical then i also want my lighting on mythical and the game just looks really realistic and alive and well lit you also get this shine effect with the lighting detail up I've always said leave these on curse. I'm not a big, exp uh, I don't have a lot of experience with what they look like when they're higher up, so I would leave them on curse. The the last four that is, but for these main, this is my choice of main settings. I recommend it. Um, you can bump that down if you're on different graphics. I would recommend all of these on. Some people like rats, but I just hear the level my water's at. Rats are really to tell you the, your water level visibly because the rats will come up higher in the boat. I recommend that on, uh, disabled, um, screen check off, blur off is on really but whatever i don't use any colorblind filters some people use green red just because it makes the game like a little bit more vibrant preference contrast kill markers i don't like because now i'd rather have the red one there's a new kill marker which means you killed someone if it's red this just turns that off basically it just leaves it white um and then high contrast x marks the spot not relevant for pvp but this is just a setting that helps you see dig spots on the map and i recommend having that on now so i was going to come back to video settings this is where you set your re resolution now, if you have like a performance problem, your FPS isn't high enough, you can just bump this down or alternatively, you can go to resolution scaling and bump that down to 50. And I don't know if you can notice in the recording, but I've just made my game look a lot more pixelated, but my FPS will improve if I'm GPU limited. I'm not really GPU limited, so this doesn't help me. It just makes my game look worse. Um, but I wouldn't put this above 100 unless you've got something crazy, like you really like the anti-aliasing effect, but um. I wouldn't recommend it. Display mode, I have on full screen. Not a big difference maker. V-Sync, I have off just because I like having high frames. Um, and you can only cap um, your frames here at a most 144 unless you use an NVIDIA external cap. So I leave this off. Otherwise, I'd put it at 165. Um, brightness and color contrast, I have these bumped up slightly. I would say fiddle around this for preference. If you have it too bright, you can see in the dark, sure. But it gets really bright in the day. And then color contrast, if you put this too high, the game looks really silly, I would say. I like to see my FPS and my ping, so I have that on. Buffering, I have on double. Um, I can't remember why, but I think it just it made my game run a little bit worse, or recording went a little worse when this was higher. It's whatever, you can mess around with that if you'd like, but I prefer this on top. I think it's input lag, I think is the problem. I think the higher you have on this, you get a little bit more input lag. Uh, and obviously I skipped the intro cinematic. And that's about it. Thank you for watching.